Hey everybody, welcome to another Goodie Reader unboxing video. My name is Michael. This is Peter. Today we got the new Microsoft Surface, day one of the release. This of course has Windows RT and the later version of the Surface that will give you access to legacy apps is due out in about a month to a month and a half. This is a great uh, addition to the Microsoft line. It really showcases Windows 8. This has a keyboard, so we have the keyboard model, so we're pretty excited about unboxing this. Uh, to give you a sense of the specs, a 10.6 inch screen, which is absolutely huge. Resolution 1366 by 768 with a 16.9 aspect ratio. You have a quad-core NVIDIA Tegra 3 processor, 2 gigs of RAM. We do have the 32 gig model here. Of course, it has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. It has two cameras. And we're going to get into all of this after we unbox this. All right. Yeah, we got the 32 gigabyte version because uh, you actually have an SD card port on this. So you could essentially expand it up to 32 to 64 gigs either way. So... Uh, we still did get the one with the keyboard, however, to show you the uh, the full capabilities of this. So we'll leave the surface to last there, and we will show you the keyboard it comes with. So it comes in this uh, thing here, and there looks like there's something in there. So we'll just show you this. Nice grippy back for, uh, well, if it's on a surface, it won't move around. Yeah, that has a lot of torque to it, it actually. Does. I don't see that even on like a slick background like this. I don't really see it moving around. Exactly, yeah. It's it's definitely going to be pretty grounded. You have, uh, this has a full probably 180 degrees movement. You have the little contact points. So it seems like a fully functional, you know, type of keyboard that you would see like on a, a laptop. It doesn't look even as small as a netbook. It, it actually seems like almost a fully fully functional full-size keyboard. It does indeed, yeah. It uh, doesn't look like there's anything else in here. If we miss something, we apologize. This is the first time we've unboxed this on camera. So it looks like this uh, thing right here slid out of it. So we'll check w out what this is. Shows you different ways you can uh, hold the tablet and kind of use the what do you call it, the stand there, kickstand. We have uh, touch cover and type cover, so this is just information about uh, the cover here, and uh, this will give you, you know, information on how to use it and uh, different, different languages. So this is the cover. Doesn't the keys don't click down or anything? It's more just like a touch. So if you can see here, the keys actually don't really go down. So it's more of just like a tap. It's like a, it's like a soft carpeted capacitive screen almost it's the best way i could describe it yeah i mean it doesn't seem like the, the on a traditional keyboard you have or mechanical keyboards the the keys are are risen out this doesn't even look like the keys are even risen no, out to any tremendous all. degree not at all uh all right so we're going to crack open the surface now we'll show you 360 the box it's a pure white box <laughs> not much going on all right great 360 yeah that was awesome that was quickest one yet so I'll take this off. All right. Oh. So this opens up. Uh oh. Have, this uh, looks good. We're was quite zoomed out here because uh, it's quite a big device. So apologize for that. Um, blue on the inside. Not sure if that varies from 32 to 64 or the 16 gig. Not quite sure there. We have the charger that plugs into the wall. Wow. Really. Really weird feeling. It's like a sticky rubber. You feel that? It's kind of, it's kind of strange. I don't think I've ever. I don't think I've ever seen a DC charger with that type of material. like the yeah with that material before. It actually looks feels quite interesting. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it 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 feels like heavy and it yeah. looks oh. like it, it's pretty durable and it has is. a higher quality. Yeah, these parts so far are feeling pretty hefty. Uh, you have your contact points there which uh, will attach to the tablet. We'll show you that in a second. That's almost much akin to the type of connection that plugs into Mac laptops or uh, other devices. Or to a lesser extent the Blackberry playbook has something similar to that with its little pins. So Now we'll take this out and we will explore the rest of the box first. Looks like we have anything underneath here. It looks like this is just packaging. Yeah, you have a little box ring there. So nothing else under there. We will put this box aside and show you the rest of the documentation first before getting onto the tablet. Uh, 
All right, surface. Just show you guys what you can expect here, how to uh, interactivity, motions and stuff like that, how to swipe. Pretty well just gives you a sense yeah. of like, this is the volume button, this is the home button. Pretty much. Once again, hardware setup, kickstand, usage. Hold on to that if you forget, you know, if you're first time uh, using a tablet, you might find that useful. More information, warranty information, uh, return information, all that kind of stuff. Hold on to that. That's some pretty small print it in is. there. It is. You need 2020 to read that probably. All right, now the surface. Oh, so let's get in on this guy. All right. So you can see Windows's new kind of logo there. It's almost like an ironed out version of the old wavy one. So yeah, when you install actually Windows 8 on your PC or even do a boot up, that's sort of the uh, like kind of animation that is 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 happening now. So I guess Microsoft has changed their logo like for the first time like in like 4 or 5 years. Yeah, definitely. Okay, first of all, how's the weight? Heavy. One, I'd say about over a pound, easy. It's pretty heavy. Uh, obviously not as heavy as a laptop. So, in you know, in in relate in uh, when you use this in conjunction with the keyboard, it's obviously going to be much lighter than a netbook or a laptop. But it's quite heavy. So uh, you see here on the back, we have the Windows logo right there. It's kind of hard to see even with the naked eye. You have the camera up top, 720p recording. Flipping over to the front, it's not as reflective as most devices, and I'm surprised. Uh, we also have uh, the camera at the front with looks to be like a light sensor. On this side, we have USB. Uh, we have a looks to be, that's almost you know, I'm not quite sure, but it almost looks like a mini component out. I'm not quite sure. Once again, it's the first time we think it's this. maybe like a mini HDMI. Uh, I've usually seen micro HDMIs look a lot wider than that, but you could be right. Um, uh, we'll get into all this when we uh, get better specs for the full review. This is uh, what we were looking at here with the charging port. You see how the pins would connect there. So it is magnetic. So you can see how that just kind of latched on. So uh, that is how you are going to be charging your Microsoft Surface. Okay, just to point a few things out, this is a full USB, so you can plug in like a USB flash drive, uh, you can plug in like an external drive, and here, one it's of it's one of the spe speakers, so the speakers are actually on a side rather than like on the bottom, like a, n a number of tablet companies actually position them. Exactly. Uh, power button up top looks to be like they're two I believe this is the two microphones they were referring to in the product uh, specs so we'll get into all that we have uh, volume up volume down and we have 3.5 mil headphone jack the other speaker and then on the bottom is where you attach the keyboard and if you flip this over to the back we'll show you here you can actually pop this kickstand up very high quality very high quality I must say and you'll see right under there, Windows Surface 32 gigabyte. So let's see how this stands up. Actually, what's on the bottom of the device here? I noticed some things happening there. Yeah, that's where the uh, keyboard would plug into. So you'll see here. The keyboard would plug right into there. There we go. It's actually clicking like the commercials. It is, yeah. Uh, we will get a better viewing angle for the full review. So this is just an unboxing to kind of show you what's in the box and uh, what you can expect when opening it for the first time. And a first time startup, of course. So we're going to turn this guy on and hopefully there's some juice. I would probably say that there is quite a number of setup prompts, yes. you know, user accounts and this and that. But, you know, we're basically just going to start it up and, you know, see what happens. And I'm happy with the non-reflective glare. I mean, when we looked at, like, iPads and other tablets, they reflected, like, no one's business. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I think, yeah, the iPad is definitely more reflective, especially around the bezel here with its piano finish, than the Surface. Just uh, as a... Uh, first time uh, the first thing that kind of popped out to us when we 
uh, just cracked this open for the first time, but definitely I noticed it had a little bit of anti-glare to it, so I like that. Now, I, I dig the kickstand, and I also dig the keyboard. Um, if people want to know, it actually costs significantly more to buy the addition with the keyboard. How much did we pay for the 32 gig with keyboard, and how much is the normal version without the keyboard? I believe the 16 gig without keyboard is approximately 519 uh, Canadian or uh, it might it might uh, differ from whatever vendor you purchase it from but at least from those pop-up stores and the keyboard with the 32 is approximately 619 to 620 kind of thing okay well Peter here initiates some of the setup type stuff here or it gives you a sense of it um, he mentioned pop-up stores and in Canada there's actually four retail locations that give you uh, the pop-up store and this is in Vancouver uh, two locations in Vancouver, Edmonton, and then Toronto. And then Toronto actually has um, one of the only Microsoft stores in Canada. So if you want to buy it on a retail level in Canada, that's where you can go. But you can also buy it from uh, the main website as well. And uh, if you live in the U.S., there's dedicated Microsoft stores all over the place. You can probably get them there. But what we found on even day one was that the lowest version, you know, the 16 gig version was was pretty well just sold out completely so this is why um, this is the only model that's left because it's the most expensive one absolutely now don't try connecting to my Wi-Fi now that you've seen my password <laughs> but uh, yeah uh, we're just gonna buzz through all this if we are able to um, see if we can do this later kind of thing looks like it's prompting us to sign into your PC so uh, the, like Michael said there are quite a numerous amount of setup um, procedures to go through upon first time startup all right so basically all we did was enter our our hotmail account and this is so you know if you have like an Xbox account like a hotmail account live account that's what you want to use this is the main UI. We're going to get into this in the full review. A lot of these are live tiles once you associate accounts with messaging, you know, the weather, your photos, email, calendars, and things like that. So those tiles will actually animate and stuff. You'll see that in the full review, but this is basically what you see here. It's fairly cool, and of course, like I said, full review, we're going to kind of get into everything. So this has been an unboxing and a first time startup of the new Microsoft Surface RT. If you want to see further videos, check out our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash goodereader. And for all the latest news, updates, previews, reviews, and everything else, check out our website, goodereader.com. And for Kitty Reader, my name is Michael. This is Peter. Everybody take care.